the list of stars that never end. You're our guest in the front row. Now it's time to start the show. Brand some webcast show. Interviews with folks you know. Come along and join the fun. In our books, you're number one. From the live entertainment capital of the world, you're listening to BransonWebcast.com with your hosts, Hamner and Barber. It's not TV or radio, just one click, download the show. Grab some coffee, take your seat, we've got friends you'd like to meet. Branson Webcast Show, Hamner Barber, here we go. Laugh along and have some fun, it's a show for everyone. One of them plays with birds, and the other makes a sassy chihuahua talk. Here's Dave Hamner and Jim Barber. Well, welcome back to the webcast, everybody. And thank you, Craig Burnett. And uh, hi, Dave. And hey. uh, we're here with our special guest, Gerald, who uh, most of you know is Hargis out here in Branson, one of the greatest entertainers that we've seen, funny comedian. He's not in his getup today. No. No. His getup got up and he got up somewhere. And and he's got his teeth. I can see Hargis doesn't have any teeth. But he's a a wonderful entertainer and uh, just a good friend. And we're just glad that he had a chance to stop by today. Where are you this year? Everyone uh, from OneBranson.com and all the internet, they're wondering, where is Hargis this year? Well, I'm hiding out at the Ball Knobbers. There you go. That's where I'm hiding out. I've been over there for a little over a year now. And... uh, Getting ready to start the new season, March the 7th. March 7th. Yes, the rehearsals have already started and uh, coming up with a new show. Wow. Getting you, ready to go. Are you coming up with new bits? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My, I, we got to see this, yeah. Jim Barber. Coming He's, up with new routines. Got to, to keep your brain working. <laughs> <laughs> he is one of the funniest comedians uh, in this whole area. And, He's, and really one of the traditional comedians in the Ozarks, too. Your style is, is what mm-hmm. is known as the traditional cunt. Country comedy style here. Country and comedy, that's right. How yeah. did you tell us how you got started here? Well, to be honest with you, how I got started was when uh, Lyle Mabe, one of the owners of the Ball Knobs, one of the original owners, I seen him doing TV commercials back in the early 70s as George Agronite. Mm-hmm. Sold Empire Gas out of Springfield, Missouri. And about that time, during a little medical problem, I wound up losing all my teeth. Oh wound up with dentures. I seen him doing that on TV and I thought, man, that'd be pretty cool to make a living doing <laughs> make that. Make lemons out of lemonade yeah. there, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. So honestly, he is the one that got me started into that. Mm-hmm. Thinking, well, you know, if I can make people laugh and make a living at it, can't beat it. What's kind of unique is he got you started and now you happen to be I'm with actually, the Maid family. That's exactly right. That's that amazing how it comes around. After like that. 34 years. It's amazing. <laughs> and that is a wonderful show. The Bald Knobber is one of our original, uh, the, the original or one of them at least that right. started uh, Presley's and the Bald Knobbers. Mm-hmm. Started it out, all out here in Branson. That's true. And then uh, and then they brought in different entertainers. But you, this is your second year with them. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, uh, this this Hargis character, you say you've got some new stuff coming out. Can you share with us maybe some of the new, <laughs> anything that's coming out of this fertile brain of yours, Gerald? <laughs> I wish I had a fertile yeah. brain. <laughs> you know what fertile means. It's, no. It's full no. of... Uh, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> Fertilizer. Oh. Fertilizer. You got it. You're right. <laughs> well, to be right honest with you, uh, I've got one routine I just uh, talked to my straight man about hour and a half ago to see if he thought there was any anything in there we could use and within 15 minutes we had a routine worked out oh, that's and great. kind of on a political edge oh yeah this is being a uh, a, a year of an election campaign. year, election year. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh we're going to try it and i think it's really got some great possibilities well, what we came up with well that's so, yeah. that, that'll be great that's great. one of the, one of the routines i am looking forward to build and to do this year on the show. I think it's fun as a comedian to be able to bounce ideas off of somebody else because mm-hmm. a lot of times it's hard to think of things on your own. That's true. You'll, you'll have ideas for other people, mm-hmm. but when you try to think of your own material, at least that's for me, it's, it's hard sometimes. So. And do you ever get brain lock where you think so much? <laughs> no, he gets brain warped. <laughs> warped. <laughs> I should be locked. <laughs> I, get, I get brain lock, you know, where, you, where you're trying to think of something, some routine or something like that, yeah. and nothing comes. It's like a writer's block. Mm-hmm. It's like a writer's block. Yeah, Do you ever laugh so hard your teeth fly out? 
Once. <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah, that'll only happen yeah, once. Yeah. One <laughs> time. Luckily, a lady in the front row caught him. When I oh, was but it didn't oh, hit her in the face, did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, no. Well, what was the first show that you were in here in the uh, Branson area? I started uh, in Springfield, Missouri, I think in 74, working uh, at the boys club up there on a Saturday night. It was more of a fun deal for me. Right. No right. money involved, just done it for the fun of it. Hmm. The following year in 75, I started in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. At the Pine Mountain Jamboree. Yes. Which is still playing. Still, still playing. Going, yeah. Still going. Uh -huh. I worked down there for Mr. and Mrs. Drennan for 23 years. Wow. wow. That's great. As Hargis Marcel and then wound up coming into Branson with Mo Bandy. Mm-hmm. Right. In 99, I believe it was. And Work. that was a, a good show, too. Oh, Wonderful yeah. Show. yeah. yeah. Lowe was a great, great entertainer. Right. I and that was it. a great combination, both of them together. Yeah. We worked good together. Yeah. We really did. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, went with the Sons of Pioneers for, I think, four years. Don't quote me on that one. Mm -hmm. It all runs together. But worked with the Pioneers for about four years and then wound up with the ball knobbers here the last couple of years. So. So you've seen all the changes that Branson has gone through as a mm -hmm. tourist destination, right, yeah. and, and uh, what do you think it's harder or different performing for audiences today than it was maybe 20 years ago? Yes, sir, completely different. Yeah, when I first started in 74, uh, it was very easy just to walk out on stage. You get a lot of laughter just for the facial expressions, you know. And you have a rubber face. Uh, sometimes. Pretty yeah. rubber. <laughs> sometimes. But, it is so much harder today to get an audience worked up to where they're laughing at everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it has to do with the fast-paced world we're living in now. We're in all. the MTV age. That's true. I yeah, think a true. lot of it is, you know, the, the kids, I used to entertain in the college circuit, and when I first started performing, there was a lot more of an attention span. And then MTV videos got real right. popular, and I noticed that everything had to be little short bits for them to really stay with you. Yeah. And, and it's not just college kids. I don't want to, you know, pick on anyone in particular, but I just notice our society in general, and you see it on television shows and everything. Everything is little bits, bam, 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 you mm -hmm. know. And, and on stage, you have a little more time to develop the, the routine and, and build it up to a big climax. And on television, you got like one or two minutes and you got right. to do your whole thing. Uh, but uh, that's one of the things I love about working as a comedian on stage. You, you got to hit them right at the beginning so that you can carry them through the rest of the show. But right. it does allow you a little bit of time to uh, play with the audience a little bit. And you know the truth about it, when Hargis hits the stage, the audience loves him immediately. He's one of those characters they fall in love with. He's got the, 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 the hat, the look, and the <laughs> facial expressions. And he's one of those characters they really fall in love with. So y y you gotta come and see him at uh, the Ball Knobbers. And the showtime, once again, Showtime's eight o'clock every night, but Sunday, and the and the uh, it starts March the seventh. March seventh, right? opening night. Opening yep. night. Yep. Well, we, we Hargis, we uh, we appreciate you coming out and just spending the time with well, us, and we wish you uh, the best year you've ever had this year. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you have a great season. season. Good to see you again. Good to see you guys. Thank, thank you, Gerald. Thank, thank you. you. Keep this mode. <laughs> You've been listening to BransonWebcast.com with your hosts, Dave Hamner and Jim Barber. Join us next time for more interviews, music, and fun from Branson, Missouri. Y'all come back and hear us soon. Hope you liked our little tune. Next time on the internet, we'll have new friends you haven't met. Branson Webcast Show, spread the word to all you know. On the web and having fun, it's the show for this is your announcer, Craig Burnett, saying thanks for joining us and come back real soon for more fun at BransonWebcast.com.